Thanks to Black Spot Pete, we've got a lead on Ruddy Lusto's treasure. It's buried somewhere on Dagger Island, a landmass many leagues from our current position. To make the voyage, we'll need to steal a pirate ship from the harbor. No easy feat given the cutthroat nature of these cutthroats. First, Murray and Sly will steal a jolly boat and blast the rudders off any ships that could chase us out into the open ocean. The action is sure to provoke the harbor patrol, so be prepared for a sea battle. With them out of the way, no one could stop us from leaving harbor. Meanwhile, Penelope and I will work together to break into Lapui's keep and steal the map to the buried treasure. Once both objectives are reached, we'll steal a ship and set sail for Dagger Island. Then it'll be a simple matter of following the map and digging up the loot. We're literally going to steal a pirate ship to go treasure hunting. <laughs> What a wonderful game, huh? Looks like Sly doesn't have any missions. Let's go as Murray. That's what we can do since Murray has a mission. Pirate Operation Day 1. Alrighty here. So there's Dynamic Duo over there. Jolly Boat of Destruction over there. Alrighty, let's go do the Jolly Boat of Destru- uh oh Uh-oh. I don't know how you didn't notice, but uh... What have you got? Show me! What have you got? Sapphire! <laughs> Heck yeah. Now, into the water you go. <laughs> oh man, well? I don't know what that button potentially did. Um, come on. Come on. Crap, well, it's fine. It's completely fine. So yeah, from episode three, the Holland one, the little rowboat, we kind of get an upgraded version of it. Okay, Murray, I need you and Sly to blast the rudders off all the galleons in port. With their boats disabled, the pirates won't be able to chase after us when we sail for Dagger Island. What about those boats out there at anchor? They look ripe for a breaking. Don't worry about it. The pirates won't have time to row out and get them rigged before we're gone. Besides, once you start shooting at those rudders, the harbor patrol is sure to show up. That sounds like a job for a man of my many destructive habits. You said it. Take out the harbor patrol, and there'll be no one left to chase after us when we appropriate a pirate boat. It looks like Sly's done unlocking the jolly boat. Good luck, sailor. So we don't get a small boat like we were just on to, <laughs> to do this with okay, or anything. Boys, we get <laughs> this tiny little thing. So, uh, you know, that's a little bit faster than the rowboat that we had in Holland. So, I mean, uh, yep, this is, this is life now. <laughs> How about you don't? Cool. Neat. Slow and steady. Slow and steady here. Okay, neat. That's two. Oh my. Okay. No, don't you dare. Okay. Oop. Oh, come on. There we go. Jeez. So then we go around here. Back to the wolf slice that you see. Wish you could stay and watch, but you're tired of getting to sleep. Have a great stream. All right, appreciate this on my hand. Out, Hawks. Hope you have a good rest of the night. And such. Whoa. Come on. Come on. There we go. You guys are doing great, but it's time to bump it up a notch. The harbor patrol has arrived. They look pretty well armored. Is this cannon gonna cut it? You're right, Sly. Murray needs to ramp them with your jolly boat. The cannons are still firing at us during the cutscene. Right. I'm tired of dodging cannonballs. Time to crack some skulls. I'm jolly boat style. <laughs> I'm tired of dodging cannonballs as we get hit by cannonballs. With a well -placed cannonball. So I love how those things are still attacking me during the during the cutscenes and take care as well there, Angelo. So we have to ram them first and foremost. He's down to wood. Neat. So. Nice. 
Yep, yeah, this is literally what we're doing. I just have to mash X to row like this. <laughs> so, uh, you know, ramming speed. <laughs> this game is so silly. Oh, come on. Get him. Oh, I probably need a little bit of a running start. Swimming start? Come on. Come on, get him. How is he not? Fine. 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 We're going to ramming speed this guy. First is what we do then. Armor's Boop. gone. Uh. Good shot, one more. The one that was causing me trouble earlier. Okay, ramming speed. He's down to there. Oh the team of excellence, Murray and his faithful gunner Sly, kick butt yet again. What? That was a glitch. Uh, sorry guys. I wasn't Never aware seen that one before. Patrol had a cutter. You're not done yet. Gads, that thing is massive. Everything has a weak point. Just look at the mast. They've been patching it up for a while now. Sly's right. That mast will fall before our combined mightitude. No matter how many cannons they bring to bear, we will bear it. Not to sound like a wimp, but I vote we dodge their cannonballs. Or we can dodge. That works too. <laughs> apparently, during the early development of Sly 3, apparently they tried to replace Mori's voice actor, but they couldn't get anybody who could get like as raspy as this guy. All right, so we're aiming for the mass then? Oh, got it there. All right, let's dodge the cannonballs in our tiny little rowboat. Boop. Cool. We're whittling that mass down. Bring it around town. Boop, that's another solid hit. Maybe we'll go around from the other side here. Maybe, maybe. Whoa. Aha! Aha! No damage! Excellence does it again. Nice shooting sidekick. Because taking hey, out the mass would sink the entire thing. You're rowing. When you guys are done making out, I'll see you back at the safe house. Sheesh. <laughs> What a wonderful rowboat upgrade, huh? Well, that was the rowboat of destruction. My goodness. All right, so now we have a Bentley mission over there, Dynamic Duo. Is this the mission that I think it is? Which has always been, like, my least favorite mission in the entire game, because it's an RC car one that freaking... has, like, really crazy intended routes. Boop. Couldn't even see it coming. All right, well, go over here so that we can switch to switch to Bentley and such. Is there any easy way to just get up there? Guess we can go around this way. Okay, that works. Sweet. All right, well, Bentley time. <laughs> time for some Bentley action. All right, time for dynamic duo. This is probably, I don't know how you didn't notice me, but. Uh, you guys are blind. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> they're fine, probably. Whoops, I did not mean to. Don't you. Well, you know. Okay, Penelope. Oh, the coins are still here. Your hover spectrometer. I'll launch the device and you scan for metal structures that resemble a safe or chest. Anything the treasure map might be stored in. Roger, Bentley. Let's light this candle. Be still, my heart. She made an obscure NASA reference. Why do the girls always have to go for Sly? It's just not fair. What was that? I didn't reach you. Oh, nothing. I was just saying that we've got fair winds for liftoff. Let's do it. Poor Bentley. Th this mission is really good for, like, showing characters and story and character development and all that stuff. But this mission sucks for gameplay. What matter of witchcraft is that? Ah, well, best to shoot first and uh, ponder later. <laughs> Ah, oh, the pieces are still intact. The disc is shattered, but we can still retrieve the data. 
But it's broken. And I rig all my gear to self-destruct if anyone tries to take it after a malfunction. The disc will destroy itself if someone tries to pick it up. Aha! Uh -huh. What if we could read the disc's contents before touching it? Right! I could use my RC card and go out and collect the data. It's got the same code base as a disc and should be able to download its contents. Yeah, as a kid, I always thought this was the worst mission in the entire game. Because the routes that you have to take with this RC car. I mean, we'll see if I'm better at it nowadays than I was as a kiddo. Come on. Okay. Because you fall down, you gotta find another way up again. And this sucks. This sucks. All right, a little bit of a running start here. Hi! Hi. Don't you dare. I love how the pirate can get close to the disc and the disc doesn't self-destruct or anything. Okay, come on. This mission sucks. Come on. Oh my goodness. Fine, I'll back up a little first to do that. There's one over there. So like you don't make the jump, you have to go all the way around again, is the thing. So you know. Come on, come on. Oh, don't overshoot. Don't you dare. Oh, oh. Don't you dare. This mission is so bad from a gameplay perspective. It's really good for showing Bentley's character, this mission, but man, from a gameplay perspective, does this mission ever suck? Hi. <laughs> okay. Um, how about you don't? Ow. Rude. All right, so where else do we have? So you can always get back up onto the roofs again by going this way around, if I recall. I don't know why I did that. Yeah, so I gotta get back up here again. Huh? No! Ah! I remember taking literally forever to do this as a kiddo and hated it so much. Into the water he goes. And there's some coins. All right, but we are at four out of seven. So we're over halfway there. Is the thing. So, I mean, I'm behind. So, we gotta go this way. But you don't. Stay away from me. Like, it's not like a racetrack, like basically every other RC car kind of mission in this game. It's literally just finicky freaking maneuvering around rooftops. That's what this is. I'll take the health thing. Thanks. Over there. So I think I need to... Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Uh... Flip, please? Um... I think it's time to go. So are these... Hmm, where are these ones then anyway, huh? Yeah, I always hated this mission. So these ones are over here, looks like. Don't you dare. No! Stop! So up this way, okay. And then, okay, this one's right. Okay, that's not as bad as it was as a kiddo. That does it. We should have all of the spectrometer data. Hold on, hold on. I got it. There's a massive chest near the top east facing windows. Let's go. All right, time to make our way into the actual keep over there, methinks. Hi. Hi there. Oh, I missed! Um. And a low, low record. I didn't even know that there was a Vita version of this game. Oh, you have special loot that I'm not gonna be able to get now, but that's okay. That is AO5. Welcome to the shenanigans. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. <laughs> you know, as one does. As one very much does. So, okay, so this is just over here. To what seem. Oh, okay. This Lafui guy is really on it. He must have seen the disc and raised all the bridges to the fort. There's no way in. I've dealt with guys like this before. They can't really trust their own men, so they always keep an escape route handy. 
You just have to look around a little. Wow, Sly's really taught you a lot. Sly? We're a team. In case you haven't noticed, I'm the brains of the operation. He's just the field man. Just the field man? Sounds like you're jealous. Well, yeah, I, I wish I wasn't in this chair. I wish I could run on tight ropes and jump on flag poles and all that stuff. But I can't. You can do other stuff. Sly can't rewire a satellite or write ASCII code. Sly can't even spell ASCII. Yeah, he's not the most technical guy. Hey, let's get moving. We won't find the back entrance just standing around. Oh, sorry about that standing comment. Give me a break, Penelope. It's just an expression. As much as this mission sucks gameplay-wise, I would say, just from, like, having bad memories of that RC car segment as a kiddo, this mission is really, really good for showing Bentley's character. And such! Whoa! And how he feels about his whole situation and such, you know? It's... I like it. Okay, so Penelope is following along here, it looks like. I appreciate the follow there, Rackord. Speaking of people following... So then we go ahead and navigate through this way. Whoa. This is another segment that I sort of remember struggling with as a kiddo, and I really don't know why. This is not very tricky. So I mean, boop, neato. Whoa. There, there's the back entrance. What back, wait, oh. Locked, I turned my cameras because I thought it'd be a cutscene. Oh, this? Oh, I remember now. And then the thing comes down and then we can go up. Yeah, oh, I thought there'd be a cutscene, so I turn off my cameras again in anticipation for- Whoa! Don't you dare. Just boobity bop. Cool. And then up we go. That's what we do. Um, hi! Now it's a cutscene. Shh! That must be Lafui. Let's get up to where no one will spot us. Agree. I'll tell you something by thunder. That disc in the sky was just the beginning. But, sir, tis gone. Them bridges is up and all's as clear as morning. Sure, sure, every man's entitled to their opinion. <laughs> but I don't want to hear no more of them. Second mate Jones. Yes, sir. You're now promoted to captain of the guards. Th thank you, sir. Double the patrols and keep an eye out. There's the storm blowing in. I'll be just inside torturing the prisoners. Call out if you need help. No, sir. I mean, I, I, sir. We can't get inside with these pirates guarding the door. Time for a little swashbuckling. Well, I love how he's just casually like, I'll just be inside torturing the prisoners. As one does. I'm so bad. I mispredicted. I thought you'd keep going that away. Don't you dare. How did that miss him? Oh, nice rock throw. Don't you dare. Well, <laughs> you know, we just do this as one does real quick. How about you don't? I'm going to take these coins, thank you. Okay. <laughs> you know. Wait, I thought I put a bomb on you. Oh, the other one was still there, but it was like bugged up. What the? I know my disc is like hella scratch up. There's two on them at all times. I'm so confused. Wait, if I put one down. No, there's just one. Weird. Weird. Really? Fine, I'll go up on the little ledge then. That's what I'll is what I better do. Boop. <laughs> Sweet. Not too okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, you're actually gonna press the button this time? Three. Okay, you actually pressed it this time. Good. 
unlike the last time. This must be it. I've never seen a security chest so thick with traps. I don't know. Looks pretty straightforward. If I had my spanner set, this would be a cinch. Really? Let's head back to the safe house and get your tools. I'd like to stay here if you don't mind and study it some more. Sure, I'll be back in a flash. I've got your spanners and I'm on my way back. Great! But I think I've already got it. This is it. The Dagger Island treasure map. Ah! Oh, my eyes! I can't see some kind of blinding dust. And now it's time for the grapple cam. I forgot how long this mission was. <laughs> She won't mind if I take the turret off her car. Hurry, Bentley. I'm getting kind of scared here. Hang tight. I've got a new and improved grapple cam on the way. This dust is really All bad. right. So we now have a turret on the on the grapple cam. That never has to worry about ammo or overheating or anything. So like, you know, there's that. So, you know. Oh, uh, how about you don't? How about you don't? How about you? Okay. Welp. Yeah, I forgot how long and tedious this mission was. A spoon or robot? My oh my. Time to wait. Time to get moving on over here. It's so strange. The poles so, holding up the bridges were too tough to take out with my sleep darts, so I upgraded my grapple cam with one of your RC uh, I heard the bridge is There we go. And I'm not sure I can make it back to the safe house blind. Oh, come on. I'll make a bird call through the grapple cam speaker. I don't know why it doesn't show a marker over Penelope here. Boobity boop. Okay. What other games do you play? You can find that in the in the games channel underneath in the description, but it's mostly Nintendo games. Mostly. It changes around a whole lot. Around the channel, typically. Let's bring you over here. Come on. I guess it's not close enough. It's mostly Nintendo games, but there are definitely some exceptions like this, for example. But mostly Nintendo content. Like we were streaming a competitive Smash Bros. event earlier today, for example. I forgot how tedious this freaking mission was. Oh no! Quack quack. quack, quack. All right. It's definitely okay. uh, a mission and a half here, isn't it? Come on, come okay. on, let's go. Let's go some places. Come along. Here I come. Oop. Did you just break a bottle? You don't come in the water from this, do you? Better not. Just in case. Just in case we're doing that. Go this way. On my way. Come over this way. Boop. <laughs> yep. It's just, you know, do a whole bunch of mashing X. Alright. Okay. Take out this guy. I'm in motion. Fish nice. He's like, wait, what just shot me? Who knows what it could be? It could be anything. Whoops. Sure. Hi. Hi, that works. I don't know why Bentley can't just go in and, you know, get her from here. Like, this is basically just outside the safe house. But I mean... Come on. Up we go. Okay. What? Oh no! Come on! Okay. Okay. What? Come on. Do the thing. And then, okay. 
Yeah, this is definitely one of the longer missions of the game, to say the least. And then, here we go. There, Jesus. Penelope. Bentley, thank you. I was really scared there for a bit. You saved my life. There now. Let's get you inside and make sure that dust has no permanent effects. She knows exactly where things are now. Job complete. She nice. You love to see it. They're going to need silent obliteration to complete the upcoming job. Use Thiefnet to buy slide the silent for the obliteration power up. Oh, another one that's required to beat the game. Well, Welp. I guess we have plenty of coins here anyway. We haven't really gotten a whole lot of things here at all, really. I mean, isn't this the one that like shrinks guards to get in an area? I mean, size so stable or shrink guards by whacking them with your wheelchair. Well, there's a lot of wacky power-ups in this game that like I haven't put a lot of time experimenting with. Apart from, you know, playing this as a kiddo and stuff like that. Within, like, the playthroughs on the channel and stuff, we never really experiment with them a whole lot. Smack Roo, I'll take these coins and such. How about you just don't? How about you don't? Stop believing! Stop. Stop! I don't know how that didn't hit him! No, we can just go to the mission. Oh, it doesn't really matter all that much. We can just climb up here. Neat. Cool. Now, the mission is just right here. Okay, Sly, time for the main event. I've been looking forward to this. Every thief dreams of one day stealing a pirate ship. I don't know what it is, but it's like a total rite of passage. This is gonna be great. As you'll be the first on board, you might want to keep your enthusiasm quiet. If the Night Watch detects you, this whole place is going to get lit up with guards. The rest of the team won't stand a chance. Come on, pal. This is me you're talking to. I'm like a fourth degree black belt at this kind of stuff. Murray will meet you at the Jolly Boat. But remember, keep it quiet. Okay. So that's why we need the silent obl obliteration so that we can't, you know, alert guards by taking down other guards. So that we keep it silent and such. Also, this almost reminds me of, like, Assassin's Creed 4. Stealing the ship that goes on to become the Jackdaw. Yeah, we steal our very Looks own like pirate ship in Sly. Boat trip. Must and this game way disguise. before games like AC4. Alright, we head over here. Easy peasy, just like that. And keep it quiet. Probably didn't need to turn off my cameras for that. It was pretty short. So, yeah, normally, with a normal takedown, you would just send them up into the air and then smack them down. But, for whatever reason, with a silent obliteration, you just send them to the Shadow Realm. Is the thing. So, you know, a decent bit of a difference there, you know? And then the other guards don't notice when it happens. We got a sapphire. Sweet. So, you know. What? Uh. Everybody got sent to the shower realm. Yo, did I freaking go into that guy's flashlight range while I was like drifting there? To the shadow realm you go. I must have gone in like the flashlight range. With the Excuse me? Stairs just stopped working for a hot second. I'm gonna take whatever you have here before sending you to the shadow realm. A large diamond! Look at that face though. Well, to the shower realm you go. What I almost went off the boat. Okay, guys. I mean, the, ship. the coast is clear. Come on up. Roger, I'll start rowing people over. Okay, the rest of the gang is below deck. Let's fire this puppy up. Once we raise the sails and get underway, it won't be long before someone on shore raises an alarm. No problem. We wasted that harbor patrol. The coast is clear. You guys did a great job, but they still have cannons mounted up in Skull Keep. I figure it's long odds they get gun crews into position before we're out of range, but it's worth mentioning. Then let's make full sail for the mouth of the harbor. If you guys are ready, I say we do it now. Every second we dilly-dally just puts us at more risk. Agreed. Murray, take up the anchor. Bentley, get down below deck and adjust the ballast. 
I'll hoist the sails and get this thing moving. Okay, Sly, you're in command. So... Sailing is easy. Hold down on the so... L2 left and turn left, and the R2 left you know, and turn right. In terms of open world games, Assassin's Creed 4 is probably one of my favorite open world games and such. But something very interesting about a game from my childhood, Sly 3 here, is Sly 3 did a very similar thing way before that was even a thing. So, there's literally ship, ship gameplay and combat in this game. So, you know, meet the original AC4, basically. So, yep, this is the... Multiplayer was insanely good in this game. It was definitely hella fun. Never got a lot of opportunities to... X marks the spot, so over here. Never got a lot of opportunities to try it out. Also... Yeah, yeah, it's over there. Um, this is also the fastest way to get coins in the game, is by going after other ships. Kind of similar to AC4 is what this very much reminds me of. There's a thing for Bob. That's nice, nice mortis. Yeah, I never really had much opportunities to do this. I have no idea what game it's in, so I have zero context, but I assume that's really good. There's a thing here. Well, at least keep on getting some more treasure chests and stuff. You're the captain. Ah! Aha! Uh -huh. So... Yep, this very... This is what I played before AC4 as a very similar game, interestingly enough. Oh, come on, I like slid off. And then you just hop on board is a thing. So, uh... Oh, come on, no! I didn't think it was gonna do that wide of a swing. How about you don't? How about you actually don't do that? Can I just keep knocking you off, off the thing? No, come on. Excuse me. So, yep. I mean, recently on the channel, we've been covering AC4. And this is the thing most similar to AC4 that I played long before AC4 was even, like, a concept. What? My goodness, let's not just randomly die here. That would suck. Are you getting stuck down here? Oh, captain, my captain. Oi, wha-bam! Large diamond! <laughs> Sweet, it didn't say the coin amount. So yeah, when you get close to another ship, it can start combat like that. So yeah, it's, you know, very interesting. So the entire first half of the pirate section of this game is like from the safe house and doing missions like you're normally used to. And the whole second half, the safe house is now a pirate ship and you go around the Caribbean doing missions. You've got the map, Sly. Select it as a power up and read its clues to find the treasure. I believe the first clue is Stand before the statue's gaze to begin your walk along the treasure's maze. So, we literally do a pirate treasure hunt. So yeah, there's a silent obliterator. Ah, so this is set to L1 right now. So, oh, I have to hold it. Stand before the statue's gaze to begin your walk along the treasure's maze. So, what is the statue's gaze? So there's literally like riddles and such and... And such here treasure hunting what do you have before the statue's gaze huh Oop. that is way above his head but okay Sal is about right to the shadow realm you go yeah I'm fairly certain the statue is like way further in I think if memory is serving me Brat. more pirates they must have a ship anchored on the other side of the island. Stay clear if you can. No yeah, yeah. How many are on shore. But the statue's gaze might be over there. I don't, I don't recall. Like, doesn't it start over here? Those are some big crocs or alligators or whatever the heck. I can never tell the difference. Yeah, it's over here, I believe. Yeah. Home to some nearsighted lizards. They can't see very far ahead. Of course, they're nearsighted. But they'll bite you in half, given a chance. All right. Okay. Well. 
So stand before this. Oh. The rest of the clues on the map so yeah, this is a thing. Take ye twelve paces in the direction of the statue's gaze. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. X always marks the spot, shipmate. Find the X and take ye six paces towards it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, yeah. Move you 18 paces right into the circle of palm trees. Your immediate area. It might be helpful to find this circle of palm trees mentioned in Oops. the clue. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Take 16 paces to pass between two great stones. Like a ship at sail, avoid the rocks. Between, what do you mean, avoid the rocks when it says to go between them? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Looks like you'll need to leave map mode to solve Yeah, look out to sea and spot a rock with three palm trees. Make 13 paces in its direction and get your feet sandy. When you find it, bring up map mode again. And your direction One, two, three, four, direction. five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Not all ships meet a happy end, but follow where they point is what ye must do for six paces. Ah! Freaking! I'm trying to find treasure out here! Leave me alone! Unbelievably rude. I am treasure hunting, my guy. Leave me alone. I gotta go six paces towards where the ship is pointing. Leave me alone. You're so mean. Oh my goodness, why am I getting hit by this? Why? My goodness, all right. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Grand Papa's treasure. Hold the beat, bro. I come to help you dig. Dig? We're all coming, Sly. This is too cool. I come to help you dig. Dig? Well, Dimitri, it's your loot. I think you should have the honor. <laughs> I open with joy. You Cooper gang is a tight groove. Then go bullseye. Primo diving gear to accentuate my deep down diving style. It's so intricate. Your grandfather was an artist. I've never seen such fine craftsmanship. He had the juice. Check it. The gear even matches my suit. I can dance, dive, and accessorize. What else is in this chest? Aye. Let's get a good look. <laughs> Avat Laval. Didn't think you could steal from the smartest man of the seven seas and not taste the repercussions. Ha ha ha. I might have been late for the opening of the chest, but I'm just on time for the stealing of the gold. Let Penelope go. We can work out a deal. Penelope be the lass's name. Purty as a sonnet, and what a rich sweet scent from the wench's heart. <sighs> Let's thump this chump! No, he'll hurt her! This guy's a killer! Hey! You sum me up with butter word! <gasps> killer! Away with ye! Back to your ship! This gold is mine now, but her death is yours! Take your choice! Guys, we don't have any options here. Everyone back to the ship. You can't just abandon me! Help! Please! I'm so scared! Penelope, do what he says! Stay alive! We will save you! I... I trust you. And I trust you still planning logging back to your ship. Away with ye. Now! Job complete, huh?